morning, my name is Sume Yu and I'm the owner of Saffron Restaurant and author of a couple of Thai cookbooks. And Bob, uh, Bob from uh, Special Tomorrow Do asked me to show you what to do with Buddha's hand because people are fascinated by this beautiful citron, but they don't really know what to do with it. This Buddha's hand is believed by the Chinese, they're much revered by the Chinese to have it grown around the house because it brings you good luck. But most and foremost, because it is medicine and it's used primarily to help ease bad colds and fever. So when you have a chill, you should have one of these syrup that is made from Buddha's hand to help ease that uncomfortableness that you get from catching a bad cold. But it could also use for restaurateurs to create wonderful dishes out of this um, by turning it into a syrup. The first thing that one should do with citron is of course to try to desalt it a little bit because it's, as you can see it's very very thick. So you pick one that is beautiful and slice it. And now this is a little bit too thick. It should be sliced much much thinner than this. Okay? And, um, and then you put it into a colander and you put salt in it and you let it salt it and sit in the sink for about half an hour or so and then um, you combine it with uh, what we call rock sugar because rock sugar again the Chinese also believe that rock sugar is considered also medicine because for some reason when it's processed and you use it to cook it it makes the food all very glossy and clear and beautiful. It never really burns like granulated sugar. If you cook it for a long time, it kind of brown. This doesn't brown. It makes everything looks very, very beautiful and glossy. So what you do is that after you let it sit for about half an hour, you then combine it with about a cup of rock sugar. Now they come like in big pieces, like this. And I watch my mother, sometimes she just kind of crack it open, you know, make it so that it's a little bit smaller. Or you can pound it until it becomes like powder like this, which makes it easier to cook. And then you combine that with the salted version into a pot with about a cup and a half to almost two cups of water. But you don't add the water all at once. You add it a little bit at a time. And this takes a great deal of patience. And while you're doing it, it makes everything around your house smell so wonderful. And it also clears your throat, clears your mind, makes you feel really energized and rejuvenated. In addition to just the rock salt and Buddha's hand, I add other ingredients which I consider to be also very, very nurturing and remedies for warming. And that is cloves, which is an analgesic, and of course ginger, which is both very good for the digestive system and the respiratory system, and also it's very good for the chest when you have a bad cold. So you combine uh, about a tablespoon of this and a couple tablespoons of these, uh, the ginger, and about a cup of the uh, sugar and two one and a half to two cups of water and you just let it cook slowly until it becomes this and then after you it becomes this you see how glossy and beautiful it is this the water the liquid is gone it becomes thick syrup then you add about a cup of honey from your local area and I really do believe in using local honey because it really does help you, I think it helps uh, nurture your immune system so that if you have bad allergies or, you know, a bad cold, it really does prevent you from getting respiratory symptoms. So it's boiling like crazy now. I'm going to reach over for the honey. This is San Diego honey from the Santee area. I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to add about a cup of honey in it. Thick, beautiful raw honey. And you got it. See? This is it. Now, can you imagine chopping a little bit of this and add maybe some sweet liqueur and put it on strawberries or any of the favorite fruits is in season right now even pear can you believe in cooking pear maybe some white wine and then drizzle some of this on top now 
you need to save this in a jar that has been sterilized and stick it in a refrigerator so it lasts for months and months on end. And if you happen to have a feeling that you're coming down with a bad cold, which I did yesterday, I kind of took care of my own self. I didn't feel so good yesterday. For some reason, I thought I was going to come down with a bad cold. So I went home. I took oh, about a tablespoon of Buddha's hands, cloves and all, ginger and all, syrup and all. And then I pour some hot water on it. Make myself a cup of tea. And you know what? I don't have a cold. I think I drove it away. So this is one of the remedies. So easy. So easy to make. And so it's like having your own medicine in your refrigerator ready to go. But as for cooking, you could make a wonderful dressing to go with uh, with with this with the syrup and this is kind of a mixture of Thai and Chinese because that's what I am so I'm gonna move all this out so you can see spring mix from specialty produce a little bit okay all the bitterness is really wonderful uh, these are watermelon radishes again from specialty produce maybe I would say half a cup or more if you like because of the wonderful peppery taste to it and these are pink apples which is in season right now pink ladies I think pink ladies I slice them and I put some lemon juice on it to prevent it from turning color and I'm gonna put in maybe about this is half an apple let's put it all in the, the secret is to put together a texture that is interesting, crunchiness versus softness and chewiness, as well as different taste of a little bit bitterness, a little bit bland, a little bit sweetness. And then, of course, saffron is known for our chicken. So this is the chicken from our, um, for the chicken salad. This is shredded, cooked and shredded. Okay, and the dressing, is Buddha's hand about a tablespoon with uh, some minced garlic, uh, Thai pepper, Thai chili, uh, lime, lemon, a little fish sauce, and the most wonderful oranges that I discovered yesterday <laughs> at Specialty Produce. I don't know what it is, but it's the most beautiful hue of pinks and, and orange, and it's very sweet. You only need like about two tablespoons. So you put all this in there. I think this make about a fourth of a cup. And you mix it all up. And I happen to have some wonderful roasted fresh coconut flakes and um, crispy lemongrass that we made. So if you don't have these, you could garnish it with some almonds or any kind of crushed nuts that you like. Cashew is good. Now, isn't this gorgeous? And it makes you feel good. If you don't feel well, the salad would really definitely make you feel better. So that's Buddha's hands.